coaches like getting on us and like we have to uh, <clears throat> just play together and uh, <clears throat> um, just have fun with each other, basically. So yeah. Yes, sir. Both of you guys. What's kind of the reaction when Terrence is able to rejoin you guys on Friday? What's been the integration process with him? I mean, it's definitely great to have him back. Um, you know, I think I think a big part of our win today was because of him, just the way that our transition offense get going and our defense get way better with him. Uh, and we're just we're just glad to have him back. Quincy, you seem to be, you know, you guys dominated the glass today. What was it about? What, what enabled you to do that today? I mean, they're a very good rebounding team as well. Uh, I mean, it's just our effort. Uh, I think we're the best rebounding team in the country, um, and we got we got to keep doing it. It's really just about effort and just going to the glass and be physical. And, and when we do that, we, we we're really hard to stop. Quincy, obviously, Terrence uh, been waiting to get back on the court. A lot of emotion from him today. What did you see from him? And what have you seen from him leading up to this? I mean, like I just said. Uh, He's been working. Um, our, like I said, our defense, our offense is going to improve with him having back. Uh, but it's just great to have him back. Like I said, it's just he's grateful. We're grateful to have him back, and and we're going to get it rolling. Justin, I guess maybe not wanting to drop another one at home. What did you guys do better to kind of flip that game back in your favor? Um, uh, we prepared way better than we did against Maryland. I feel like. Uh, like the past two days, we've been going real hard in practice. So we've been hitting each other, uh, almost hurting each other, like rebounding. That's probably why we was um, so dominant on the glass today. But yeah, we we just couldn't afford to drop another one at home. Take home. Yes, both of you two, really, Mark, it's like you guys have all thrived since transferring here. What, what do you think it is? For each of you individually, that's allowing you to, to to kind of play the way you're playing right now. Uh, maturity, um, the fact that that we all we've been in those those games, played against them last year. Uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> uh, like, like like you said, we just really connected. Uh, maturity in the team, it's a big it's a big part of why we connected this year, and uh, you know we can lead the the younger guys, and and that's a big part of it. Yeah, I feel like we don't uh, we don't really care who scores. Everybody just want, everybody got the same goal, we want to win. Everybody got the same goal, get to the tournament, get to the national championship, win Big Ten, everything. So that's really the main part of everybody that's contributing every day. Quincy Brad got on you for not dunking one and then it seemed like you made up for that uh, a little bit later in the game. What, how did that go? And it just seemed like your emotion after those dunks seemed to be, uh, you're having Oh yeah, always. Um, you know, I think a big part of it is the crowd, too. A crowd is just amazing. Uh, the fans are just hyping me up every time, hyping our team up, and uh, you know, I'm gotta keep, I gotta, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, you know, crashing the boards, uh, uh, playing defense, being physical, and lead the guys. Quincy, I don't know if this is a dumb question, but like, you seem to get a lot of put-back dunks. Is there like a science behind, like, things you look for to kind of allow yourself to that? Uh, I mean, if, if a shot's, Someone shot from the left corner. I know most of the time the ball's gonna go on the right side, so I'll I'll just go to that spot, and most of the time the ball will go there, and that's how I get a, a putback. But um, no, it's just really just me going to the glass, and uh, you know, coach put a lot of emphasizes on, or like to me just to tell me that like you know you gotta get some boards. You're the best. You're the, probably the best rebounder in the country, so I gotta keep doing what I'm doing. It's kind of similar to Quincy. You know, preseason you're talking about. The staff kind of wanted to help unlock your rebounding again, kind of like you had previously in your career. What's kind of allowed you to do that so consistently? What's that process been like? I think it was just mentally, to be honest. Um, I, I think I'm in great shape. Uh, part of it, you have to be in really good shape to, you know, crash the glass every time and then go back in defense and then do it again and then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. So uh, I think that was a big part of it. But it's just my mentality, to be honest. Um, I've been, I, I did that in Syracuse my sophomore year. Uh, even my freshman year, and uh, I stopped doing it when I went to Oregon. So I'm just right now just combining uh, what I learned from Oregon and my second year in Syracuse. So, uh. Quincy, to dovetail off of Piper's question, you send you tend to handle a like Brad Underwood butt chewing a little bit better than, than most. Is that part of being 24 and having uh, been there, done that? Yeah, maybe? I mean, uh, Coach Beheim was probably worse, uh, <laughs> and he knows, but uh, he was saying some wild stuff to me, but. Uh, 
I mean, it's part of the game, you know. We're trying to win games. We all trying to win games. And like Justin said, we uh, we want to win a Big Ten championship. Uh, I came here to win. I know it's a winning program, and I'm I'm, I'm just grateful to be here and to, to and to have Coach Underwood uh, coaching me. Justin, uh, obviously you guys are playing well uh, during the last six games, but getting a player like Terrence back, like, what's that do for you guys? Um, it's just it's amazing. We um, it just makes the whole team feel whole again because we got our our best player back. Um, and it's just fun. It's fun. We ain't got to worry about nothing for real, but we just are glad to have him back. He's just our brother, so we're glad. we happy to have him back. Justin, is there one or two things you look for before you check in to kind of see where you can, I guess, maximize your impact in that first sub? Um, I would say yes. I, I like to... Um, I like to observe the game before I get in because uh, I know the coach coming to me first. So I look at both sides of the ball, like on defense, like where they score. And on offense, like what, what the defense doing? Like, is they tagging or is they uh, playing two on two basketball? But it's just, it's just a big thing for me being older. I just like observe stuff way better now. Ms. Quincy, uh what did you like in about the second half defense, especially after Rutgers made their run and you guys were able to put a stop to it? Um, I mean, it's just, you know, the fact that we can communicate. Uh, and then when we, get, when we get stops and we rebound the ball, we can run offensively, you know, so it's, it's really easy for us. It, the game becomes so much easier when everybody rebounds. And then, like I just said, TJ is back and then we can just run and, uh, and transition off. And so, uh, it's great for us when, when we rebound the ball. I think really rebounding the ball is is the biggest key for us to, to be successful this year. And our defense, obviously. This will be the last one from Scott. <clears throat> Justin, have you played with someone like Coleman that just seems to get his hands on the ball as, as often as he does defensively? Um, I would say Coleman is a different, uh, different than different player from what I had last year like at the five position, like Coleman is like beyond, like, I don't even know how to explain it. He's so smart. Like he knows, he knows the scout, like the back of his hand, like he'd be in practice. Uh, like just, he just know everything. He, but last year, um, I had a person that just blocked shots, but this year it's, it's a person that's like, uh, way above like my my level of smartness, I would say, because he he's like a really smart guy. Love him. Okay, thank you.